Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the New York Mets going up against the Cincinnati Reds. Along with my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. And Chris, it's trade deadline day. Always an interesting day on the MLB schedule. Usually a lot of excitement for fans and stress for the front offices. What about the teams and specifically the players? Boog, I think there are three perspectives. You're that guy that's saying, hey, I want to get traded somewhere, maybe to a contender, maybe to a place that I have an opportunity to play every day. On the flip side, you're that guy that's very content with where you are. You've heard some rumors, perhaps. You can't wait until the deadline has come and gone and you're still staying put. And then the third person is that teammate that's looking and saying, we got a shot. I hope we add the piece or two that we need that will put us over the top. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Stepping in the long ball threat, Gerald Raymond. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. Hey, you got it. No one better. Let's go. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. Another one in his incredible season. And that gives him a lead. It's 1-0. That's the exact definition of hitting the ball where it's pitched taking that outside fastball and driving it the opposite way out of the ballpark. You want to bottle that type of approach. Runner on at first with one gone. And here is Gerald Raymond. He is quite an athlete. I mean, you look around the other sports, basketball, on, football, you feel like he could thrive in one of those sports too. Lined, and that's a base hit. Now batting. First base hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And now it's Jesus Aguilar. Aguilar, third in the NL in RBIs this year. And he deals. Ball. Full count. Three balls, two strikes. My drive. That's a base hit. Allen coming home. He will score, and they take the lead. It's two to one. Picks himself up in RBI. Good job getting the foot down so he could catch it out front and pull it. Turned on it nicely for the knock. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. The left fielder, Andrew Benintendi. The 2 1. And yeah, a foul ball. You know, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting a ground ball and getting out of this little jam. Boog gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball those high fastballs they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising even though they're not but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate so very difficult to get the barrel on it. this one popped up Lindor under it and makes the play and that's out number three three innings complete it's the Reds two and the Mets one Man at first with one gone. Stepping in, Gerald Raymond. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Hey, let her rip one time. 
Oh, big guy. Get your pitch, huh? And a foul ball. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. Hey, it's going to be tough Let's to go. get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. He's going, he's going. Rudder takes off. Line to left. Lays out and makes the play. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. He's already homered in this game. Right-hander kicks, deals. Maybe a two-ball. Five. Four. Three, double play. And the inning is over. Well, we can never overstate it. Pitcher's best friend right there. Double play, gets out of the jam, saves some pitches. Base is empty, one away. Gerald Raymond, the next to hit for the Reds. Well, both sides equally as strong, so not a good time to try to turn him around with a relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate. Hey, it's your pitch. Drive it deep. Here we go, baby. First ball. pitch, not close. One ball, no strike. One down, base is empty. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. So a man aboard now with one away. Late in the game with the offense trying to play catch up. They're looking for any momentum they can get. Any kind of opportunity to get back in this game. And an error can serve. Run around the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Throw save. Chris, his wheels with a difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his athleticism work for him on that one. The 2-2. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Ben Intendi to the plate. Well, that's the moneymaker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Swing and a miss, and that is that. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Well, with this sixth win in a row, all of a sudden, you start to look around, up and down the lineup, to your left, to your right as a player, and you say, you know what, we're good. Uh, we may have had some tough times earlier on, but this is a good team, and you start to expect this kind of play out of yourselves. We'll see if this translates into a longer winning streak than it is right now. And your final 4-2 for Chris 